Welcome to the Aero General Service Channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti. And in today's video, we have something a little different for you. What we have going on here is a septic tank assessment. We are checking to make sure that the leach field is functioning properly and that the baffle filter is not clogged in any way. Now we do have a clog in the main line and the main line is four inch SDR 35 and it is clogged up underneath the house. So we're gonna also be snaking that with our drain auger to get that cleared. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this is an older style septic tank and it is made out of concrete and it can hold roughly a thousand to 1500 gallons of water and sludge. And the way a septic tank works is you have your main line coming from your home. In this case, it's a four inch SDR 35 PVC pipe and that dumps the sewage from the house into the septic tank. Now, once the water and sewage has entered the septic tank, your solids and sludge will sink to the bottom. The water will stay in the middle and throughout the tank and toilet paper and anything light will float to the top. Now on the other side of the tank, you're gonna have what is called a baffle and a baffle filter. A baffle is simply a sanitary tea with a plastic filter inserted into it. Now, the reason you have a filter in your baffle and your sanitary tea is because you do not want particles or anything getting into that pipe because that pipe leads to your leach field. Now, the leach field is how the water escapes from the tank and is allowed to drain into the ground. So the tank separates the solids and the sludge and then the leach field allows the water to percolate into the ground and it goes through a natural filtration cycle as it goes through the sediment and the soils and slowly drains down and into the aquifer, into the groundwater. I wasn't able to get footage of me snaking the main drain line, but here is a still photo of me on top of the roof with the drain auger. Now I opted to run the snake down the vent pipe on the roof because there was no clean out on the ground. Once the clog is cleared, you will know it's cleared because the water that has been backed up in the toilets and in the shower will go down and will no longer be backed up. Now, after we clear a clog, we always flush the toilets multiple times over and over again. That way we can flush the system of any remaining debris. Now, this system's clog was not too bad. It was at the first bathroom and that's why it was stopping up the rest of the home. But you can see in this video here how the water picks up in speed and volume as it enters the septic tank. Now, the way you can tell that your leach field is functioning properly after checking the baffle and the baffle filter and you have found no clogs in any of that, the water level will remain the same even when adding water into the system. So long as it's not large volumes of water back to back, let's say using a washing machine and doing three or four loads of laundry, that's a lot of water to be adding to a septic tank system, especially one that is only meant for, let's say a two bathroom, three bedroom home. Now, a larger leach field will handle a larger volume of water put into it at once. But if you have a smaller leach field and septic system, I would advise trying to space out your loads of laundry because the washing machine adds the most water into the system the quickest. All right, well, once we have the clog underneath the house cleared and everything is flowing properly into the tank and we have observed that the water level in the tank has not risen above a certain point and that that discharge pipe leading to the leach field is allowing that water to escape from the tank, we go ahead and we put the lids back on the tank and we bury it up. If you found this video helpful in any way, give us a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. And until next time, this is Aero General Services signing off.